Hello, this is PvPBuilder88, and last time was episode 50 of Fishing Is Our Wii. I hope that was a fairly refreshing episode because I, I thought it was pretty refreshing to play because, oh my gosh, we got two prehistoric fish, and it pretty much took about an hour to record that video. It wasn't even that long. Like, I was expecting to be there for hours and hours and hours, but it took like an hour. Um, I just realized that I was playing on he's trying today. Anyway though, I have quick hitter on right now. I don't know where I'm going. Um, we were going this way last time, but um, actually let's just see what we got right here. Because I think there are some small fish in this area that we have yet to catch. So we might as well attempt to catch them right now. Look at that, there's one. Yes! <laughs> oh yeah. So, yeah, we're gonna try and catch all the rest of the fish from the lost jungle. Which, to tell you the truth, I don't think it's gonna take that long. I think I could probably record this episode and go completely in with it. Yeah, that's the lovely thing about digital fishing. You can never cross lines. <laughs> um, but yeah, but yeah, it's just something that would be really cool. It's just, I think, I, well, I shouldn't say that it's not going to take very long because it may actually take a while to get the rest of the fish because I do remember some fish that are kind of elusive that I don't quite remember necessarily how to catch. Um, but yeah, still should. I, I'm, I'm definitely going to catch the rest of them in this video. All in the long jungle, at least. Now we can check something else off the list, and I'll check it on video. I'll check it off. Oh man, I just remembered! Oh man, I... That's so... When I was recording catching Tarastus, the recording, it went away, and I actually checked on my checklist with my pencil that I completed Panas Jungle, and that recording is gone. Oh, that's so sad. But we got a, we got a, um, Polyteris. Polyteris. Pretty cool. I'm wondering if that's a prehistoric fish, because that's a really wild name. I'm really sorry for this creaky chair. Um, I wonder, you know what? Let me just, before anything else happens, it's gonna sound really bad. I'm gonna try and move this chair and <laughs> uh, let's see I wonder how that sounds hopefully that sounds fine um, now I'm on my bed what am I doing um, anyway we got a poly terrace yay okay so hopefully hopefully you can hear me all right um, I think you probably can I just know that whenever Tay 9825 sits right here you cannot hear him. Um, but he also doesn't speak up very much, so I guess that's the other thing. Um, but sometimes he speaks up and you can really easily hear him. But yeah, anyway. What do we got? Okay, we got some water weed. Lovely. Oh, lovely. Oh no, it's a stick. <laughs> they caught a stick. An average driftwood. Oh, yeah. yeah, now now the chair shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully. Oh, I see a knife fish. That's what we're aiming for. We want to catch that knife fish. Let's see. There it is. It's coming right for the bait. There's also a guppy, so quickly bite. Thank you. <laughs> I think we got it. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> it was Aki Matsuri not too long ago. It's the Autumn Festival, the Japanese Autumn Festival. Um, in Japan town they celebrated it, and I kind of wish I could have gone. It was last weekend. Oh man, I kind of wish I could have gone for that. Although, what I did do is I saw the second Blade Runner. That, that movie. 
But yeah, I celebrated uh, King Matsuri in my heart. So. Royal Knife Fish caught for the first time. Awesome. That's awesome. So there you go, we got a Royal Knife Fish. Um. Still need to catch. Four more fish? Sorry for crossing through that line. <laughs> that would have absolutely devastated someone that can't catch a fish. If, if someone's boat just ran right through their line and they lost a fish, that would be so annoying. <laughs> it did it anyway, and nothing happened because it's just a video game. Luckily. Um, but I think that's a knife fish. That's a knife fish. Okay. It's nothing but knife fish. So I'm gonna move somewhere else. Hopefully we can catch something else before the next day. Um, so yeah. Oh yeah, but I, I need to myself on a bunch of, um, I, I got a bunch of, what is it? That's a big fish. I've already caught that fish. Um, but I caught a bunch of, or, no, I said caught. I got a bunch of, um, quick hitter regular, and then I got some quick hitter large. I got some wide range regular and wide range large. Um, but, yeah, it doesn't look like, I don't really see it. So I'm, I'm looking for, um, a giant snake. Um, because that's one of the fish we need to catch. Um, and I do not see it as far as I can tell. Um, um, nope. Oh, that's a fish that we need to catch. Maybe I can catch it. Um, yeah, there's another one. That's, those are fish I want to catch. I don't think I've caught that fish before. Not the nice fish, we already caught you. We just caught you. Please go away. Okay. Um, but yeah. Actually, not too long ago, um, I completed The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the first time. That's a lot easier to complete since it's on my Switch and I can take that with me wherever I go. Which is so nice. That's gonna allow me to play Super Mario Odyssey wherever the heck I go. I'm gonna be so happy. Alright, what am I saying? I'm gonna be so happy. I am so happy. <laughs> what am I saying? I am going to be so happy. I'm, I'm grateful for what I am right now in life. And whatever happens, I don't think it can devastate me to the point, like, where I am. Well, you know, nothing can cause me to take my own life away, I'll say that, because I love my life, I love myself, I love everyone, even the haters, as messed up as I think they are. Oh, I actually caught a new fish, yay! Yeah, as messed up as I think the haters are, I still think it's fine to love whoever the heck you want. China Lucius. Awesome. Well, and it, what am I saying? I, I just, I love everyone, is what I'm saying. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I do not care who you are. I do not care how much you drive me up the wall. It does not matter. You are here, and so you are loved. By me, at least. <laughs> okay. That's one way of entering this area. Um, uh, maybe, I don't even know if I should have gone here. Uh, um, I think we just caught that fish. Yeah. Yeah, we just caught that. Uh, I'm thinking maybe there's an elephant nose fish in here, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, I'm gonna move to a different sector of this area. Oh, I can actually walk through here. That's nice. <laughs> That's amazing. Just walking through the water. And just standing here with this in the middle of the water. Thinking maybe a fish will bite if I stand this far away. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't see anything though. I think I scared them off. Oh, maybe. What do we got? Is that actually a fish? No, it's not. Giant? Okay. <laughs> Lovely HD grass. <laughs> Straight driftwood. Anyway. Um, but yeah. Oh man. So, I am definitely a nerd. I accept that and embrace that. I'm very much a nerd. Um, and I'm merely saying this because I was just remembering that, like, literally, I'll tell you this right now, I go to my school's astronomy club, and I very much love it, because I love science, you know me. You know me, I love science. Um, but yeah, it's like, <laughs> um, the president of the club is saying how... Um, we're going to make a star clock, and it's a cool thing, like, you can tell the time just using the stars. Actually, I don't think we have got this, but I think it's a slightly different color. But, um, but yeah, but anyway, we, um, we, we just kind of, <laughs> he's talking about how you can only use it in the northern hemisphere because of the constellations that you can see in the northern hemisphere, you would not be able to see those constellations in the southern hemisphere. So you wouldn't be able to do it in Australia. <laughs> and then I went up to one of my friends and I just said, of all the pe of all the places to be stranded in, why does it have to be the outback? <laughs> you just you'll never know what time it is. <laughs> because your star clock won't work. Uh lovely. Anyway. So, I did catch that. Oh, so wait a second. So is that the same fish as the really dark fish that I saw? Is this fish. Um, uh, there's, where did that really big fish just go? Come on. Uh, let's just get rid of that goodness. I think I saw an elephant. Fish just now. So I think we're in the right area for them. Yeah, some more average driftwood. Um, but yeah, I think I literally just saw an elephant nose fish, so let's do that again. Right here is the hot spot for all the fish we're missing. Um, but I know there is another fish that we are missing too. That, um, yeah, anyway. I'm I think that may be a giant snakehead that swam under the boat. I keep seeing over and over again, but I'm not sure. What do we got now? There's cats and random stuff thinking that maybe it's this tiny elephant nose. Um, yeah, the giant fish is not that fish that you see on the right. It's not that. That's not what I'm talking about. Either seeing this other fish and you guys probably saw it plenty of times. Um, but yeah. What do we got here? Is this what I think it is? Please tell me. Elephant nose, elephant nose, elephant nose, elephant nose. No, it's not. Oh well. I got it already. And it's the Chana Lucius. Chana Lucius. That's what it is. There we go. Um, what is that thing? It's like, they keep appearing and then disappearing. And I'm wondering if it's because I have too small a bait, or what? I don't want to catch that. That big, big fish right there. 
I swear that I don't think that's the fish we've caught already. I don't think so. Hello, nice fish. Um, is that really considered a bigger fish? Like seriously. Yeah, it has a different fin. <laughs> See the little tiny fish? I think that little tiny fish. Oh. No. No. We're not catching that. Um. But seriously, like, we're not. That, that fish isn't gonna come towards the bait. It really is, like, too small a bait for that fish. <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. Um. Yeah, you know what? Let's, uh, let's do that really quick. Change our bait. We got this. Well, let's make that that. And then we got this. And we got this. Cool. Of ours. Hopefully this is good enough. Maybe I should go with my actually good rod, but that may be a bit overpowered. A bit overpowered. Oh, okay, anyway. Oh, look at that. It goes straight for it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that the giant snakehead? Yeah, we caught it. Or we, we have it. Look. <laughs> They don't have it yet. But I guess even if it was, yeah, it's definitely not the best rod and reel for it, but it's, yeah, you get, at least it's, yeah, it's not that bad. Um, but yeah, here's a tiny fish compared to, I mean, it's bigger than the fish that we've been catching, but still, it's pretty tiny compared to some of the stuff we've caught. Really tiny, especially compared to the biggest fish in the game. Um, <laughs> like, as in the biggest one you can catch. I mean, the whale shark, that's a fish that's massive, but actually I think the Dunkleosteus may be the biggest one. And you can catch the Dunkleosteus, so... Yeah. In this game, though, they make the whale shark huge, so... Look at that, we caught a giant snakehead! Oh yeah. Freaking awesome. Giant snakehead. It's an E. That's awesome. So, um, I'm gonna change it back to medium and large keeper and pick it up. Uh, so we need to find a little tiny elephant. Um, a little teeny tiny elephant nose fish. I'm always finding them right around here. Right in this area. Oh yeah, it's going straight for the bait. At least I thought it was. I saw one. Hello. That's not it, but, but I still see it, I think. You teeny, teeny, tiny fish. Come on. Not the guppies. There it is. Come on. Please tell me I got it. Please tell me I got the elephant nose. Oh, darn. Butterfly fish. <laughs> darn it. That's annoying. Thank God. World champion? Ho oh, ho! Whoa! Oh man, that's cool. We got world champion rank. Did that change the color of the card? Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it's gold! Oh man, that's cool. We got a world champion card. Oh, that's... Yeah. Lovely. We are world champions, you know? Fishing. We're world champions. Um, we got ourselves the Polyteris. 
And we got ourselves an average driftwood. And our royal knifefish. We got the Chana Lucius. And we got some straight driftwood. <laughs> and more Chana Lucius. And some average driftwood. And more Chana Lucius. And then we got the giant snakehead. And the butterfly fish. <laughs> and that one butterfly fish made us world champion. <laughs> Imagine, out of all the new fish we got, it's the butterfly fish, that one. That's the one that made us the world champion. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, let's go ahead and go to bed. Try and catch this elephant nose fish. I'm gonna try and see what we're missing because I actually have no clue. I know we're missing that. And okay, we're missing that. Okay. I think I know where that is. So, should be able to catch that. Let's do some early morning fishing and go to sleep. Rest till tomorrow. Yay! Awesome. And this, this actually, I think this video, I probably won't even need to edit. I think I can literally just go straight through with this video. Because I'm catching everything so quickly. Oh, but I need to think of a new, like, question of the day for this episode. What do, what do we got? So, I mean, by the time you've seen this video, I already put it up on the top of the screen, most likely. Or wherever I'm going to put it. I think I'm probably going to put it on the top of the screen. Because I haven't currently edited any of these. And I haven't done any question of the days yet. Um, hmm. Let's see. <coughs> the last time I said. I asked what was the favorite fish. But let's see. What is something that I did? Well, I mean. We go off on a thing and be like, what's your favorite Mario game? I'm like, but that has nothing to do with fishing. Or really, I mean, it has to do with Nintendo, of course. Duh. Of course it has to do with Nintendo, but, but, um, I guess, um, I mean, it would be nice to know how many of you guys have actually caught all the fish. I think I've only seen one comment where someone said I've caught every fish. You know what? What if, um... You know what, how many... How, let's see, uh... I guess it may be hard for some people. I know it would be a, It would take a little while for me to say... To answer this question, because I... I've done this, um, a lot, but, um... How many games have you 100%ed? That sounds like a good community question. How many games, how many video games, I'm, like, specifically talking about video games, because it's not like you can 100% a board game, but, um, how many video games have you 100%ed? That sounds like a nice question. I can tell you right now, I've 100%ed a lot of video games. Um, mainly Kirby and Mario. Um, I've not 100%ed this game. Um, but, yeah, but I, I can tell you right now, I have 100%, um, I mean, you've seen, like, maybe you've seen it, maybe not, but if you haven't checked it out, I have 100% some stuff on my YouTube channel, even. Um, so, Kirby's Dream Land, that's one game that, even though it's a very classic game, technically, I did everything you could in it, in which case I 100%ed it. Um... I'm going to continue trying to 100% more and more games as I go, um, and, and most of them will be a series at some point that I'll do on this channel. Um, but, so I got, I got Kirby's Dream Land, Kirby's Dream Land 2 I've 100%ed, I've 100%ed Kirby Superstar Ultra, actually, I 100%ed that game twice, <laughs> and, um... And it's like my favorite Kirby game of all time. 100% Squeak Squad, Kirby Squeak Squad, um, which I've, I think I 100% that one twice. I have 100%ed, um, 
What else? We got, um, got, uh, I haven't done Dream Land 3. Uh, I haven't done... Well, 100% Kirby 64 Crystal Shards. Um, that's an S average driftwood. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, but I've 100% Kirby 64 Crystal Shards. Um, pretty much. And, uh... Oh man. Canvas Curse. Kirby Canvas Curse. I'm just saying is like... I'm sorry if you like that game, but I... I I don't know, and I and I know how I said that I hate haters, but I I think in the I think if it's like a hater towards someone or some life form, if someone has a problem with the way someone lives, that's when I have a problem with it. And and I mean, if someone prefers not to like a movie or something, I, sometimes I'm like, really, but. But I'm not gonna be that judgmental towards them. So I guess, I guess I'd just say that, um, Canvas Curse is probably my least favorite Kirby game. And, and I have, trust me, I have, I completed that game with every single character. And, uh, like, I, I did it with all the characters and all that stuff. Oh, I think we got, uh, open mode. Yay! We got an elephant nose! Yay! Elephant nose fish! Awesome! So there you go, we got another fish. Check out the list. But yeah, so, the canvas curse, I basically run up beside It's just the mini games. That's the only thing I didn't do. Completed the game like six times. We got new total rank up. That's awesome. So the canvas curse, I basically run up it. Not quite, there's like a 99% save file, so it's ridiculous. Um, Epic Yarn, Kirby's Epic Yarn, I've made it really, really far in that. I think I got like 97%, but it, I'm just missing a few furniture, and now I can probably do it a lot better than I used to, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely learn some back in my YouTube. I've never 100% of it before. Um, what else? We got, um, uh, oh, Kirby and the Amazing Mirror. I've 100% of that game a few times. Kirby's um, Nightmare in Dreamland. I've 100% of that game a few times. Um, Kirby's Adventure. I think I've 100% of that game. Um, okay, let's see. Where are we going? We are going in here. Oh, I think this is where we need to go anyway. Okay, because there is one fish, and I think that one fish that we're trying to catch is right here. So, um, but yeah, so, so there's that, that, and I think that may be the fish, actually. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> I think they just died. <laughs> that was amazing. But yeah, I can keep going on with this list. What am I even doing? I mean, I got... Uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, Kirby's Death Deluxe, Kirby Planet Robobot. Um, this keeps going on and on. Not to mention the fact that I, I completed, I 100% of Super Mario Bros. Uh, well, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, New, New Super Mario Bros. DS, New Super Mario Bros. 2, New Super Mario Bros. U. <laughs> I 100%ed, I made it to the last level of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Ah, oh, Oscillated Snakehead. There you go! I think we caught all the fish in Malum Jungle, just like that. That's crazy cool! Okay. We got our world champion bag. I think we can just teleport right back here. Because I think we caught them all. But, um... Oh, and I... I 100% of... Um... Super Mario 64 DS. Um... Super Mario 3D Land. Um, I made it really close to Super Mario 3D World. Almost 100% of that. Um, but yeah. Um, elephant nose. But yeah, I'm merely thinking about that because the way to 100% this game is really hard. But we're gonna do it. <laughs> that's the way it's gonna work. Um, and there you go. But yeah, so that's the question of the day. I've been talking about all this stuff. 
and and there's plenty of other Mario games. Super Princess Peach. Out of all the games, I've 100%ed that one. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, and I, I, I like the Yoshi games, but they're so hard. They're so hard to 100%. Um, anyway, so, we got Malam Jungle. Let's see. So we got, um, here's our elephant nose. Yay. Elephant nose fish. Got the elephant nose fish. We got um, oscillated snake head. Um, and then we got the polyterrace. Look at how flat its head is. Polyterrace. I swear that must be prehistoric because that looks really cool and bizarre. I wonder if they still are alive today. Like, if it's prehistoric, that looks really prehistoric. That's really cool. Um, yeah, then we got um, Chana Lucius. Um, right here, we got the Chana Lucius. We got three of them. Uh, we got a Royal Knife Fish. Um, <laughs> uh, and that's a really wild fish, too. And then we got the giant snake head. I think that is it. Let me just make sure we got all these guys or girls. And then we got um, Clematius. Then we got Tropical Ocean. Yeah, we did it. Okay. Hopefully the recording is still recording and isn't taking away any sound. I'm right here. I am checking off. Did you hear that? Because guess what? That was... Now I dropped the pencil. Yep, we did it. We have 100%ed Panas Jungle and Malum Jungle in one night. We have finished 100%ing them. So, all we have left... <laughs> let me just go down the list. To tell you the truth, we still have a lot left. But, overall, it like... And I'm telling you this right now. I'm standing right now as I'm talking to you. <laughs> um, I have one headphone in. Um, but yeah. One earbud, really. But yeah, so we got um, Tropical Ocean. We got the open... Oh, no, it's... Okay, sorry. I said open ocean, but then I crossed it out. It's um, the Tropical Ocean, the Temperate Ocean, the Frigid Ocean. Sembolin... Oh, no, we already did Sembolin. So, the Tropical Ocean, Temperate Ocean, Frigid Ocean... Sefulu Island, Extra Field, and Special. Those are those are the six. And Special has to do with a bunch of different areas, including the ones that um, I mentioned. Um, so there's certain fish that we will be catching as we go to these areas. So who knows if I will actually... Um, well, I may have to go back to some of these places that I've already been to because there may be one or two that I missed. But I think, let me, let's just look at this because as I think for the most part, we got it all. Um, as, like, as far as we've made it, we've, we, the only places we haven't 100 it are the places that we're going to catch these fish. So, you know, I think this is frigid and I think this is probably temperate. The same with that one. Maybe tropical, but I, I know that you, yeah, yeah. Those four fish, they're in the ocean. And this is a sailfish. So, so yeah, four fish. This eel, a knife eel, I think. Um, but yeah, we and that fish right up here, that's the flying fish. We can catch all of those in the ocean. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do next. I don't know if I'll do it tonight because I've... I think I threw out my voice a little. Well, no, I didn't really throw out my voice. It just is a little sore because of all the smoke in the air and and just kind of dry in general. So, but yeah, and then we got extra field. What do we have left in extra field? Oh yeah, so we got um, got that that. Oh, we need Patarpa River. I need to find where that is. Patarpa River. So, oh man, though, let's, let's see, though. Oh, shoot, wait a second, what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. 
Oh, I was so scared for a second. I was so scared for a second there. I thought, I thought, <laughs> I don't know why I thought that we had to recatch this, the King Salmon. Remember that episode? That drove me insane. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> oh, I, mean, I just so happened to land on the King of Herring. Don't know why. Um, but yeah, <laughs> love the King of Herring. Yeah, we got our smelt. But yeah, Katarpa River, I think, is in Malum Jungle. Um, do you think I should do that really quick? Actually, that, let's just see. I think it literally is right, right where we are. So I think. If we just do this really quick, maybe we won't have to go back to Malam Jungle again. And then, just like that, we, we would have also completed Extra Field. Look at that! There it is! <laughs> we did it! Okay, we can register. Let's just finish up this video with a nice Patarpa River. Um... so cool and what's nice about this place is that all the fit there's only three fish that we need to catch and actually maybe I should uh, uh, no I, actually I think this is fine I think this is fine let's just see what we catch with this um, so if nothing gets caught then Oh, look at that. Yay! <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um... <laughs> I'm going to park over there. Maybe this should be the screenshot of the episode, actually. Oh, no. Most of it was in the long jungle. So, I should... I should stay. But, but still, Tarpa River, this is a cool place. There's not very much here, but it's just, it's like a nice little goodie bag. I really like it when these places are right here. You just catch a bunch of random fish. Here's got a Lenok. Lenok. I don't actually know where Lenoks are from. Um, wondering if maybe like Thailand? Or China? I don't know. It, this area seems like it's based off of some Asian, um, like, environment. Some nice little shrine area, I guess. Maybe? <laughs> I, I'm sorry if I'm, if, if somehow I'm offending someone by saying this. I just, it just looks really beautiful. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Um, but yeah, we got the big fish right there, and we got this fish here that I am hoping. I think we need to use big bait. Yeah. Hopefully I didn't, I just scared it away. Darn it! <laughs> oh, that's annoying. But we can just go to our titan, our infinity, and quick hair large. And look at that, it's back. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Um, any any fish at all? Did all the big fish just vanish as soon as I put this back into the water? I just saw one of the fish we're trying to catch. Come on, come on. <laughs> oh, I see the biggie. Hello. Hello there. I don't remember your name, but I really want to catch you. You're massive and awesome. Hello. Hi. I have this big bait. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Maybe. Hello. There you are. I see you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're turning around. Maybe. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. 
There we go. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Jeez, that's awesome. <laughs> Amazing. There we go, we're doing it. We're doing it. This is gonna be a nice length episode of catching all kinds of fish. I don't think I'll really need to skip anything because there may be parts that may be longer, but I think I think for the most part this episode's pretty nice. Like it I I think I said a lot of stuff throughout it and and throughout I, I think that it would probably flow more than most of my videos actually. So <laughs> I think it would be totally fine to just keep it the way this is. Like my episode 50 is definitely gonna be edited so that I can make this a really rare kit, but this episode is like a nice length but I'm still catching new fish. Tons of new fish. So pretty productive episode. Um, so yeah, Tarka, Tarka River, um, come on, it's a massive, massive fish, what is your name, looks like a giant trout, what do we got here, the Hutchel Diamond, that's awesome, the Hutchel Diamond, no, actually, what, what am I thinking? This looks more like Vietnam, if anything. And, and that name sounds like a very Vietnamese kind of name, so... Maybe this is... These are fish from Vietnam, I don't know. And you know, K9825 is part Vietnamese, but... I, to tell you the truth, I highly doubt he could be able to tell if this is based off Vietnam because of the fact that, well, even though he is half Vietnamese, he, I mean, he doesn't know how to use chopsticks, and I know how to use chopsticks. Uh, probably know more about this stuff than he is, he does, and I don't even, I'm not even Asian. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> best rod and reel in the game as we're reeling this fish in, so it'd be kind of ridiculous if we didn't catch this fish. Um, have I actually done any trolls? I don't know if I have, now that I think about it. Yeah. So I'm definitely going to do some trolling tomorrow. But yeah, a more pike! Oh man. Oh. I wonder if it's like a few areas in Asia, because like the Amur leopard, they live, I've actually seen an Amur leopard, they're really rare, they live in Russia, so that's like Eurasia, or really it's Asia, but it's just where Eurasians live, I'm part Russian, um, but yeah, Amur pike, oh man, that's cool. The Amur Pike is probably a lot less rare than the Amur Leopard. I mean, it's just saying the Amur Leopard is actually the rarest cat. As far as I know, I think it may be the rarest cat that exists today. Uh, I can't leave. Why can't I leave? No, I'm stuck. Oh, come on. No. One. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I was pressing minus. I don't know why I was pressing minus. Um. Yeah. Oh, it's a place. Yeah, we 
Magdalena and we got the Hatsu Diamond and we got the Moor Tite oh yeah Now I think about it, I I am part Russian, so there's a little Eurasian in me. But I am also the, a ridiculously small amount Indian. <laughs> so I guess technically I am a little Asian, but it's not not very much at all. So not much that I can say I'm Asian, but I I technically am. Just the tiniest bit Asian. Anyway, though, we got our Lenok, and we got our Amur Pike right here, and we got the Hacho Taiman. The, the Hutso Taiman, actually. I can imagine it's pronounced Hutso Taiman. Yeah. Yeah. Please let me know if I mispronounced it, because I'd love to know how to pronounce it if I did mispronounce it. But yeah, a very, very cool variety of fish. Really awesome. I, th I have to say though, I think one of my favorite things in this game is catching all the koi fish. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and well... I will see you guys next time. Good. Look over here. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>